So did me, Kevin, delete his channel? And uh, I'm actually on uh, YouTube right now. Uh, this is the Meet Kevin page. There's no profile picture up. Uh, it says this channel does not have any content. Uh, there's no playlist. He does have stuff in the community section, but uh, I'll refresh it here again. Th there's, this channel doesn't have any content. Um, this channel doesn't feature any other channels. <laughs> there's, there's nothing on there. Um, and actually, let me let me just re do, do the address here. Check one more time. That's weird because there was just a video button there before, but I can't even click on on video. So again, this is me, Kevin's channel, and the question I ask, did he delete his his channel? Um, this is as, and I'll refresh it just to make sure the right time. This is as of 4, 4, 4 17 a.m. Eastern time in the USA. And I'll refresh one more time, did Kevin meet his, uh, delete his channel? So I was talking to my wife about this, and I want to get your guys' opinion. There's, there's different possibilities. So one is, he did in fact delete his channel. So that's certainly a possibility, right? It happens, people can do that and do whatever they want. Um, another possibility is that his channel was taken down. Um, who was it taken down by? So theoretically YouTube, um, for any number of reasons, uh, could it be you know bullying, harassment policy, these kind of things, because this is a, a real thing, guys. Um, he threatened to sue me two weeks ago, and I'm just telling you the truth, I didn't report anything to YouTube, um, I, nothing of the sort. But theoretically, someone might have. There's certainly a possibility of that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just telling you, it wasn't me. Um, the other possibility is that he could have been hacked. That is a real thing that happens to people's channels. Um, if you guys know who the uh, fake name Tom Nash guy is, and if you don't know, he uses a fake name, and he calls himself Tom Nash, but that's not his real name. Uh, he actually got hacked, and he got his channel deleted. And I know it's happened to other channels as well. And, and the reason why, the, and I mentioned the Tom Nash guy, the reason why he got hacked is he's greedy. Uh, he got some sort of you know email that said, "Hey, do you want to make a lot of money? Click this link." You know, <laughs> not for real. That's what it was. And uh, you know, he clicked something, and, and uh, that basically they took over his account. And so for someone like Kevin, um, that's a possibility. Now, I, do I know that's what happened? Did he get hacked? I don't know. Um, was the channel deleted? I don't know. I just know there's no content. I'm gonna refresh it again. And, and this isn't like some weird bug on YouTube because you know for people who have big channels, he's got you know one point. 8, 8 million subscribers, this is real money, you know? Um, every day he makes three or four videos, they get you know, whatever amount of views they get, maybe 10,000, maybe 30,000 or whatever, but it, it's money. And, and he uses it to sell his uh, you know, classes and sell his uh, scammy real estate stuff. And there was something too that I, that I wonder if he broke YouTube policy because I pointed it out uh, in the last video, like a couple weeks ago, it was weird where he wrote in the description, this is not a solicitation. And then you have those links to sell you stuff. <laughs> no, no, for real. It was like, it was like, wait, what? And I pointed that out because it was seemed really, really weird. And um, a lot of the times, like when he does stuff, he does stuff. How can I say? Like skirting on the edge of compliance. Uh, for example, with the house hack situation, um, he made his first initial pitch for that thing, and then he made a later video, uh, basically going over the disclosures, but doing it in a jokey manner, which is kind of weird for a business practice. And so. You know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just telling you guys, I, I want to get your opinion. I'm just sharing mine. So again, it could be hacked. It could be deleted. It could be broke some sort of policy. It could be also too that there's content on the channel that um, has put them in some sort of, you know, crazy liability. And this is a real thing. You get to be uh, someone of Kevin's size, right? It's 1.88 million servers, a lot. Um, you could tick off any number of people, especially for all, it's not just Kevin, all of those YouTubers that were pumping FTX, et cetera. And um, some people lost a lot of money and you don't know who's watching you. And this is something that I've told you guys about on this channel several times, right? I'm well aware that when you're watching this, you're a human being on the other side of the camera, and I take that into full consideration, right? So it, it, you know my channel. I don't just say, hey, all day, every day, oh my God, you have to buy my scammy this, scammy that. I, I just don't do that because I know you're a human being and I treat you with respect and I don't treat you you know, like the way Kevin treats people, which is like, hey, I'm gonna get all your money. Please give me all your money. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Like, like, and it really is hurry, hurry, hurry. The, the other thing, <laughs> no, really, like everything, and, and, and I make joke because because if you ever watch it, it's just like, hey guys, you got to buy this because if you don't buy it today, the price is going to go up tomorrow, right? It, it's always that kind of thing. Or if you don't buy it today, it's, you know, limited time offer only. Um, any number of things that can get you in trouble. So again, this is all conjecture. Who knows what happened? But, you know, I'll just refresh it again. This is really odd. Um, now, theoretically, this is a temporary thing. It could be uh, something's going on in his world. And, and this is also very real. Um, recently, he dyed his hair green for whatever reason again. 
Um, and, and someone like Kevin, he also ran for governor. He, this is also r r very serious. It could be a cry for help. And, and I don't want to be sound mean in any way because I, I don't like the guy, but I don't necessarily wish any particular, like, how can I say, physical harm or anything of that nature. I just wish he would stop doing scammy stuff. <laughs> and, and that's always a tricky question, like what kind of, you know, punishment or, or penalty do these people deserve and et cetera. I, that, that's a long discussion, but, um, you know, when, when, when people have this crazy erratic behavior and yes, we make fun of them and stuff like that, he may have some real problems. And, and I mean, and I'm really serious guys. And if you know that, uh, he was charged with the DAOI, you know, last year, et cetera. And, and, and I, I'm not trying to generate sympathy for him in, in the sense of like, Oh, feel sorry for him, you know, give him all your money. It, it's just more like, don't, be this person. Don't admire this per person, and and don't don't like aspire to be someone like him. And sadly, this is the sad, sad truth. And and, and I have to repeat this, especially for you young people out there. I, I know that you might be fourteen or fifteen, maybe you're twenty two. You know, you're a young person, and you see Kevin, and you're like, oh, you know, he seems so cool and stuff like that. He's so funny, haha. -ha. But like among us adults, the guy's a joke. You know, and, and it's it's very true, guys. It's very true. Uh, you can be a joke, and and you can make a ton of money. But, you know, there, there are ways to do it where you essentially have a conscience and there are ways that, that, that you don't. And when ways that you don't, like you can't sleep well at night and you do crazy crap like dye your hair like neon green and stuff, right? That, and, and you know, I, I don't want to go too much into his personal life, but I'll just say there are videos out there put out by people close to him. I'll just put, leave it at that, that really give a window into... The guy and, and and i've i've never you know mentioned these kind of things because i don't deep too deep but but it's not hard to see <laughs> it's it's not hard to see that there's, there's issues there and so uh you know this could be nothing and he could just uh you know be laying low for a month or so who knows and then come back and say hey it's me kevin again ah you know give me your money da, 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 you know that kind of stuff um but it'll be really interesting if, if this ends up being something uh, bigger right um because a lot of these guys, you know, they were all part of the millennial money thing that they skirt on the edge, right? All of the time. And the, the thing is with these kind of people is something my, my wife and I talk about all the time is like, they're just really, really greedy. Because I'm sure you guys know this, um, you know, he uh, was huge on YouTube for, for a while. And then, like I said, he may come back, um, but he could have just, you know, settled down and, and just, and I've said this so many times about these big YouTubers and just like, hey, go with the ad revenue and that's it. You don't need to be running scams and this kind of stuff because you already have a pretty decent subscriber base. People watch you and, and how much more do you possibly need? But, you know, this is the kind of person too that uh, if you guys have been following him, he, he, he bought a jet recently. <laughs> I, this is real, guys. Jets ain't cheap. <laughs> and and he doesn't even really have a like, well, how can I say like, he, he doesn't have the sort of, you know, steady stream of income to justify that kind of thing. His argument was, well, I'm going to buy the jet today because I'm going to make so much money tomorrow, like even, you know, uh, more than, than now because I got this whole new real estate company thing that's going to be worth a billion dollars. That's sort of like what he's selling you. And it's funny because, you know, for someone like him, there's a possibility that he actually doesn't think he's scamming you. Like he actually believes the stuff that he says. And, and, and that's always a tricky question. Like, is it, is it worse to be like knowingly scamming people or to believe your own lies? Right. It, it, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm just laughing. I'm just like, Oh my God. Um, so let me refresh the page one more time. Um, yeah, I, I, I from what I can tell meet Kevin's channel is gone. Um, I, I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll keep tabs on this from time to time. Um, you know, and, and, and it's funny because uh, actually, no, we'll just do this too. Let's just, let's just do this real quick. Um, yeah, this is actually mine. I, I searched my, you know, YouTube uh, uh, YouTube videos to see, what, you know, which one's the last one I made on him. I guess that was two weeks ago, the threat and assume me one. That's what came up here. Um, we'll just search one more time here, but I don't, I don't think it's going to do anything different. But um, let's see. See, he's still like, like his face is still there, but... There's no Meet Kevin channel. Actually, actually, it doesn't even show up in OC. Yeah, it just shows up here and then it got... So I just wanted to show you guys so I'm not making stuff up. Yeah, he's still got a community page, but there's not even a video page. So let's see, there's more about this channel. View email address. Yeah, and he joined in 2010. I mean, look at this, 621 million views. He's been doing this a long time. So if, if I had to bet, I... I, I bet he'll come back i just if i had to bet but 
from what I can see right now, everything is gone and there's no real logical, I guys, I do YouTube all the time. So I, I know this, there's just no real reason why, why you'd want to take down your, your videos uh, unless there's something forcing you to, to do it uh, from the outside for someone like him. So I'd be curious your guys' thoughts on this. And if you hear any news, um, please let me know. Uh, cause it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy world that, that we live in. And, um, if, if, if in fact that it turns out that, you know, I was part of the, I guess, taking down to meet Kevin, you know, so be it. But, um, I, I just wanted to let you guys know, I didn't, I didn't do anything other than, you know, make the video a couple weeks ago. And remember he, th he sent me an email threatening to sue me. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's related to that. Um, I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. And, and also to, to, to be perfectly fair, um, He's got a whole list of people that probably really don't like him. So, you know, I know that he settled the uh, class action lawsuit for FTX and he could be sued any number of ways. Um, you know, and, and even on his website, the um, his uh, house hack thing, he kept calling itself like the vanguard of, you know, real estate or whatever like that. And it's like, it's, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> like, like they're trying to imply that, you know, it's connected to the vanguard, but you know, who knows? Again, I'll refresh it one more time. And uh, this is as of, 4:27 a.m. Uh, Meet Kevin's channel is down. So please let me know your thoughts on this thing. Uh, do you think he was hacked? Do you think he deleted it, or was he fo forced off? Or is there another alternative? Or is there any news that I have missed that uh, I didn't see? So thanks again for your time so much, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you next video.